Good afternoon. I am very excited. Eric, thank you very much uh, for pointing out that it does take the right amount of lovely craziness uh, to be a founder and entrepreneur. We had to sort of look at this um, incredibly evolving um, economy and how are we as a state of Virginia going to evolve with that as well? It is still important that the Commonwealth think about what's happening 20 and 25 years down the road. How can Virginia's economy be prepared for the changing economy? That when we say it changes every two to three years, I want to be thinking about what we're doing in 20 years. And how can we align our universities, our ecosystems, our investors to move in that direction? How can we start to build assets that we know we're going to need in 10 years now? We as a company have invested specifically in trying to drive new ideas um, and trying to match that with, you know, sort of technologies and companies outside of Markel. You start off, right, it's, it's just you, maybe it's some other people with you, and you're just trying to go find the next customer, right? And, 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 and culture is a non-issue, or, or maybe it's not something you think about because the, your, your team is, is your team. Uh, and then suddenly you have 20 people and you know you realize that that you've screwed up somewhere along the way and i think it's actually like quite difficult to, to figure out how do you intentionally craft culture without having made that mistake at some point down the line i am just amazed at how ripe richmond is and virginia is for this this leap forward in um creative content you can invent your future God blesses all of us to turn our dreams and ideas into their tangible equivalents. But you have to have the faith, be willing to do the work, and expect the outcome. Not only internally amongst our associates, really establishing a culture of innovation and doing so through having many voices and perspectives at the table, um, but also in our investments within the community. If you have passion for something, you can pursue it. I believe this and I've seen it and I'm standing on stage as an example of somebody who didn't study in this area and you can do that. How many times have we walked through the store and seen something and said, oh, I had that idea, right? I think everybody in this room, I bet, has done that. I believe you can't be half in, half out. I believe that once you go, you have to go all in.